little something I've got to admit to you. I'm in love with Audis. An Audi comes into sight and I just want to look at it and ogle the car and just enjoy it. I always give Paul trouble for having a silver Audi. And today we're in a 2009 silver Audi A4. This model's five inches longer and two inches wider than the old model. That's a significant change. It now becomes larger than its two primary rivals. 10, 15 years ago at the most, you had BMW and Mercedes, and by the way, Audi makes cars too. Now they are a direct competitor. It's become like flavors of ice cream. They're all excellent. Which one do you prefer? That means Audi is the other white meat. It's pretty tasty too. Of course we know Paul is a fan of the Audi because he owns one. I'm always gonna say, take a look at the A4. You're gonna be really pleased with this car. Unfortunately, all the cars in this market segment have gotten larger. And as a result, their styling has all started to look like the Honda Accord. When I first saw the rear three-quarter view of the 09 A4, I thought to myself, hey, what an interesting Toyota Corolla. Uh-oh. Audi does have their huge blackboard of a grill with their rings on it. Everybody knows it's an Audi from the front. I kind of wonder if it's too big for this car, though everywhere else feels like it's been designed by a completely different styling studio. And usually all the lines on an Audi can be measured. They're so precise in their execution. From a side view, the upsweep on the side that is wrapping around the bumper from the rear, I gotta say that looks very Japanese to me. You look at this car between the wheels, the greenhouse and the side panels. It could be the Honda Accord. For my money, there isn't a better interior. Look at the headliner. Look at the things that you touch, the steering wheel, the shift lever, the way the buttons feel when you push them. That to me says quality. This increase in room has been put to good use. This is a genuine four door for four adults. The only thing about the interior that bugs me is the key fob. What you do is you insert the key and you push to start. So it's a place for my key. Come on, get with the times. The place for the key fob on the dash, it's a fobgina. I don't know what else to call it. This A4 is equipped with the 211 horsepower turbocharged Ford. This car's got fantastic power. I'm actually a little bit surprised by how fast this car feels. Because the drive mode is so concerned with keeping the RPMs low and the gas mileage high, it wants to be in sixth gear as soon as possible. And when you lift off the gas at all, it'll operate all day just above idle. While that's great for miles per gallon, it's about as exciting as a nap. You have to put it down into the sport mode on the transmission. All you gotta do is stab the throttle, this thing really gets with the program. The steering is pretty light, so around town, that's nice because previous versions of the Quattro feel pretty heavy. But especially when you're starting to carve through the corners, I want that solid, heavy feel. That's what Audi's known for. It's over-boosted. I'm not confident in corners like I'd like to be because I just don't feel as connected to the road. This feels like those old arcade games where you could just spin the wheel and it was connected to nothing at all. Audi pushed this car more towards the side of luxury and comfort and ride quality. Those are worthwhile endeavors, but not in a sports sedan. I get the sense that this car is designed for economy. Economy of movement and economy of gasoline. I don't think it leaves anything on the table as compared to the 3 Series or the C-Class. I like it more than the C-Class Mercedes, but for driver involvement, I would wind back up in the BMW 3. is BMW the go-to car for this market, nor is the C-Class. And especially with the 09 A4, this car is fantastic. The sports sedan needs to feel powerful and precise first, and economical second. And the standard base A4 fails. 